Another mass murder in America. Late word from the police chief there is that at least 10 people were killed, including a Boulder police officer. A gunman opened fire at a shopping mall. The police officer has been identified as 51-year-old Eric Talley, a veteran of 11 years on the force. The DA says that he wants the families of the victims to know that they will do everything they have to to achieve justice in this case. Police do have one man in custody who sustained serious injuries. He was seen being led away with no shirt and with blood running down his leg. At least some of the shots were fired inside a King's supermarket. The first thing I want to say is I want to say our hearts of this community go out to the victims of this horrific incident. We know of uh, 10 fatalities uh, at the scene, including one of our Boulder PD officers by the name of Eric Talley, who's been on the Boulder Police Department since 2010. He's served in numerous roles supporting the Boulder Police Department and the community of Boulder. And I have to tell you, the heroic action of this officer when he responded to this scene. At 1430 hours, the Boulder Police Department began receiving phone calls of shots fired in the area and a phone call about a possible person with a patrol rifle. Officer Talley responded to the scene, was the first on the scene and he was fatally shot. I also want to commend the heroic actions of the officers responding not only from Boulder PD, but from across the county and other parts of this region. Police officers' actions fell nothing short of being heroic. I also want to thank the men and women who responded, including state, local, and federal authorities. Obviously, this is a very complex investigation that will take no less than five days to complete. And again, my heart goes out to the victims of this incident. And I'm grateful for the police officers that responded. And I am so sorry about the loss of Officer Talley and again, we will be here working night and day. We have one suspect in custody. I want to reassure the community that they are safe and that we will try to do our best over the next few hours to identify the victims. And we'll be working with the coroner's office to do that as promptly as possible because I know there are people out there waiting for an answer and I am very sympathetic to that and we will work around the clock to get this accomplished. Chief With that you. in mind, I'm going to turn this over to District Attorney Michael Doherty. Boulder has suffered a terrible and horrific mass shooting today. And I want to second what the Chief said about the appreciation for the local, state, and federal partners that have responded to this location and to help with the investigation. This is not the first mass shooting that we've had in the state of Colorado. And one thing that's happened in response to each and every one, including today's horrific acts, is the response that we have from law enforcement partners throughout the metro area, victim advocates from throughout the area around Boulder, and investigators from local, state, and federal agencies, as well as prosecutors from the U.S. Attorney's Office and from my office, to ensure that justice is done. My heart goes out to Eric Talley's family, his loved ones, and his colleagues. He was, by all accounts, one of the outstanding officers at the Boulder Police Department, and his life was cut far too short as he responded to the shooting that was taking place at King Supers. I also want to stress how incredibly sorry I am for all the victims who were killed at King Supers. These were people who were going about their day, doing their food shopping, and their lives were cut abruptly and tragically short by the shooter, who is now in custody. I promise the victims and the people of the state of Colorado that we will secure justice and do everything we must do to get justice in this case. In order for that to happen, a painstaking investigation is already underway, both at the crime scene 
end in interviews to make sure that we receive all the accurate information. Once that information is secured, we'll be sharing that with the media and with the community. I would say that I hope the people of this country uh, send the families of the loved ones their thoughts and prayers. But from my perspective, there's more for us to do than just give, us, give them our thoughts and prayers. We're going to go all out to ensure that the right result is reached. And that's why I'm very grateful that we do have local, state, and federal agencies all responding to this location here today to ensure that the investiga investigation is thorough and complete and ensures that we reach justice in this case. As I mentioned, the shooter is currently in custody. He was injured. With an eye towards the prosecution of that case, we're going to be very careful about the crime scene and how we go about this investigation. We owe it to the families of all the victims, each and every one of them, to ensure that justice is done. And I promise you that is our commitment, and we will work tirelessly to get there.